is Crystal with today's episode of Living the Wiccan Life. Today I want to talk about the importance of the place where you are and of connecting with the spirits of your place. I believe that all religions, including Wicca, developed as the indigenous peoples of various areas interacted with the earth, with the place where they were, and with the spirits of their place. That is how they learned the magic they learned and how to live in harmony with the land. The major spirits of any particular place are the male and female spirits of the place. They oversee the health, welfare, and being of the place. And they are the ones who are in charge of the place and of teaching. Each place also contains many smaller spirits of place, beings, fairies if you will, or divas. These beings have their home in what I call Middle Earth. Middle Earth is a term from the Norse world tree. And to me, it has two parts to its definition. The first part is the physical world we live in. The second part is the spiritual and psychic reality behind that physical Earth, from which the physical Earth daily comes forth, and where mythical beings, unicorns, dragons, and the like, the fairy folk, the spirits of place, and our power animals live. By connecting with this portion of Middle Earth and the spirits of place, you strengthen your connection, your psychic abilities, your spiritual strength. One of the easiest ways to begin is simply to go outside on any day that is not too uncomfortable. It can even be raining. Sit where you are comfortable. I started this on a low wall against a garage where I lived. Have your feet flat on the ground. You can be wearing shoes and socks, that's fine. And just be aware of the feeling of your feet on the ground. Eventually you will begin to feel energy coming up from the earth. Or you may be aware of that one of the first things I experienced was a feeling of warmth coming up from the earth, an acknowledgement of my attention. And then on successive days, always have the connection of your feet on the earth and your awareness. Close your eyes and listen to all the sounds. And this can be in the middle of a city. It doesn't have to be out in nature, although that can be wonderful. And there will come a point where you may be as fortunate as I was because one day I was aware that all sound is ecstasy, even the sound of a jackhammer in the distance when you make that connection with what is going on. Another day, Use your sense of smell. Be aware of everything you smell and try to identify it. And then another day, feel the breeze going by. Be aware of the sun on your skin. Be as aware of all the physical sensations as you can. Um, it is helpful to do a small prayer when you do this. When I do it, I always acknowledge the four directions, the four elements, the earth our mother, uh, the sun our father, and the sky our grandfather and grandmother. And before I leave, I give, sometimes I will leave tobacco, sometimes cornmeal. And I always finish this by saying, the blessings that are mine to give, I do give to you. This will build a very, very strong connection for you and open you up to deeper experiences. You can do a form of shamanic journeying, which I will not go into today. That will be another episode of Living the Wicked Life, to connect with the primary male and female spirits of place. I highly recommend this and I thank you for spending this time with me today. Blessed be.